Hello everyone, in this video we're going to make an overview on HA2 Umbra. So basically HA2 Umbra is a flex weapon which you can get it from the start of the Black Rabbit shop for 3600 star fragments. And you're gonna need lots of epic decors in order to get this weapon along with the Arbalest if you didn't even get any seal later. And I'm using the season pass again to use this weapon just like how I did with the Arbalest. And don't mind about this expiration date because I already have the footage of HA2 Umbra before my VPF free pass expert. And before we move into the zombie mode, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm almost reached 400 subscribers and I hope I can reach 400 subscribers before the end of the month. And now let's move on to the zombie mode. So basically, HJ Tumbra is a flex sniper rifle in the zombie mode. This weapon has two special skills called Exorcismo and Impelo. In order to use the Exorcismo, you just have to kill one zombie and make sure there's lots of zombies beside that zombie. It will summon a shadow unit that resemble the SAF scout. This SAF scout deals a very high damage to those zombies and if they manage to one-shot some zombies, it will have a chain reaction where you can easily get lots of skills. I suggest you to aim for the zombie head in order to activate this skill since it was a passive skill. The second one was called Impelo. In order to use Impelo, you just have to reload your headset to Umbra and it will instantly shove away some zombies which kinda similar to the dual parent gunslinger. But unfortunately, you can't even change your weapon when you're using this skill because Nexon decided to do this to prevent the skill abuses. And I could say that Hatchet 2 Umbra was kinda hard to use because I'm not really good with the sniper rifle which makes me struggling to record all of this footage perfectly. And now let's move on to the zombie scanner mode. In the zombie scanner mode, Hatchet 2 Umbra was the best weapon for the bosses because it deals a very high damage to the bosses and you can see that I'm just playing on the normal difficulty without any weapon parts or even add-on and I just need 13 shots in order to kill this Oberon and this is why a lot of people say that HJ2 Umbra is better than Arbalest when it comes to the zombie scanner bosses. For the obstacles and the zombies, I don't really recommend you to use this weapon because it took some time and it just wastes your time. You better use Arbalest if you wanted to do this. And now let's move on to the summary. So I could say that HJ2 Umbra was the best weapon for the bot game mode since this weapon deals a higher damage to the zombies and the zombie scanner bosses. But I don't really recommend you to use these weapons for soloing because since this is a single target weapon, you can easily miss your shot since you need some skills to use these weapons in order to use the exorcismo skill. And I'm pretty suck at it and I can easily infect that when I'm using this weapon although there's uh, impelo skills but I'm always forgot that skills and I will rate this weapon 8 out of 10 because I'm not a fan favorite of sniper rival. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this video, if you want to play with me, just simply add my Steam account or you can also join my Discord server or support this channel by clicking the link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye!